going back to the SUV video, another point he makes, now he's talking to me when he's saying, you don't need an SUV to get kids into a car and stuff like that. People did it for many, many years. It's called a station wagon. <laughs> and it's like, they don't even make these shits anymore. <laughs> First off, nobody wants to drive a station wagon. Period. This shit is lame as fuck. But assuming people wanted to drive a station wagon, they're just not like commonly available in America. To so living longer, they're saying there's people out there saying that uh, trucks are killing people. There's a video saying these trucks are killing us. Thank you, though. I was getting there. Um, but Doughboy sent us a video link saying, you know, arguing the fact that the trucks are the main reason why cyclists are dying or getting trucks injured. Trucks and SUVs. Trucks and SUVs are the problem for these city areas that are um, surrounded by a lot of bikers and they're becoming an issue. And uh, I'll let you lead, though. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, it just has nothing to do with bikers. It's not a video. I'm just, uh, just they're not talking about bikers in this video at all. So that they're just talking a about how his his even his channel is just says not just bikes. So, I mean, yes, he's a biker, but this is not a video about biking. This is a video. This is a video about how dangerous SUVs and trucks have become. Two bikers. Uh, that should be nitpicky though. Two bikers. That's a, no. You just, There's why, zero. Why are you stuck on yeah, the I know. What's up with this? This dude's a biker. He rides bikes. He's complaining he is about a biker. how. That's what. But that, it's not about dangerous to bikers. Most of the video is going over global like um, emissions, how safe it is for other people, pedestrians, cars, cyclists. Um, and just the mentality of an SUV and truck owner, not at all about, I don't know, the, it's not a, a video centered around bikes. Man, Tony, you make it so hard to disagree with David because I'm like, I'm trying to tell him, like, it's not about bikes. But the, he, the, there is a large swath of people that hate people that drive. A vast majority of those people are cyclists. And the fact that this guy hates SUVs, it's like, yeah, you could tell the guy rides bikes. But, but saying that, it's like now I gotta agree with your ass. You over here, don't even, anyways. What are you gonna fumbling say, the bag? Yeah, I ain't fumbling um, nothing. I'm just saying that he is a biker and he's complaining about trucks, but it's not, yeah, it's not physically him saying bikers, it's just whatever. He's complaining. Go ahead, anyways. Hurry up. You've made me lose everything. It's just it's so. Ugh. You're just saying all the wrong shit. Anyways, so, yeah, yeah the video is just critiquing SUVs and SUV owners and things like that. I agree with some of the things he's saying. He's just he's just such a hater, though. Like, he hates SUVs so much yeah. that so much of the video is just not even facts. It's just so judgy. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's they're, just so They're sitting so on petty. their fat ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right. Uh, um, I thought the one of the most interesting parts of the video to me was uh, the marketing for SUVs and how that came to fruition and like how, how the market, the car market views people who own SUVs and people who want SUVs. And I got to be kind of completely honest. It seems kind of spot on. Um, uh, a lot of people, when they talk about getting SUVs in, in trucks, they first thing they say is like, I like that I sit high off the ground. I can see better. And uh, it's not it's not really because it makes you feel more comfortable. There's a lot of like insecurities people have. They're just generally worse drivers, um, SUV riders. So they want a car. There was also a push that cars could protect you um, and that like you can be safe in a bigger car. And um, it's just not really true. You don't think it's true? I I, I definitely think it's true. You're in a bigger it's truck it's sitting up higher. Definitely. It's not only that you feel safe. You 
you feel safe. Like, no. It's not only that you feel safe, it is safer than riding a Mazda or a Honda Civic that's so low to the ground. Yes. It is. So you're saying that if an SUV gets into a car crash, it's more fatal for the person in the car than if they were in a sedan? Yes, it is. Because the where the truck's Wait, at, that's the opposite of what you just said. I'm asking David. Oh, they. Oh, my bad. What'd me. you say? You're saying it's more dangerous for an SUV driver to drive that SUV. Like if they, wh- when you say it's less it's, safe, what are you saying? Like it's a like because it's yeah, a danger to everyone else. Yeah, but that's not what Tony's saying. You're, you, Tony's saying it's safer for the driver. <laughs> it's a misconception. It so it's not safer for the safe. driver. It doesn't make you safer. No, you can tip over easier on cars that are higher off the ground. So no, that's just giving you a different problem. You know what I mean? But if cars I'm not that driving, are high off the ground have a higher tipping point where if, if you I, swerve, you can tip over easier. But let's say I'm not swerving. I'm not driving out of control. Just sitting in that truck as a driver, you feel safer and you are safer than a person in a low car. So I just Googled the fa- like the fatality rate among car types and cars are the highest. They die the most, followed by pickup trucks, followed by SUVs and then vans being the, the safest one in this in this stat. Vans are the safest, but only slightly um we're talking 6.2 versus 6.08. That's SUV to vans. But a okay. car, your 9.42 is the rate of fatality in a car. So you're not accident. safer in a car. You're, you'll definitely be safer in a truck it's or SUV. It's certainly more dangerous for everybody else on the road. I don't I acknowledge that completely. Yeah. Um, Whether you're a pedestrian, uh, it's just all around. You're just more dangerous. <clears throat> not only that, but they explain that. When they design cars, they design cars to, you know, crash into each other and there's a crash point and there's a structure that crushes and SUVs. You are the crumble point. The middle of the car is the crumble point. Um, And especially because SUVs are so high off the ground, a lot of the times the other car goes under the SUV and um, they're just not made. They're not what is called crash compatible. Which because a lot gotta, of cars are designed to be crash compatible. But you would you agree that the height of the car will make you safer in a crash versus you being low? I don't I I don't know the stats for that. It doesn't seem that way. I don't I don't no, see I'm saying how. you personally. I'm not I'm not asking for stats. You personally, if you was in a Honda Civic and I was in a truck, would you not say that if us getting an accident, that I would be in a safer situation than you would be? Because you, so like, do you not see like the problem there? Like, uh, you want to be safer kills other people. I, but I'm saying, do you not see is it, why? Is it really, is it really safer? Wait, 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 cause you guys are talking past each other. Tony's just saying, is the pickup truck driver yeah. safer than the guy in the car if yeah. they go have like a head-on collision? Okay, cool. That's what Tony's asking. Your ne- your point now, I right, is a fine point. Um, you know, basically, if you're, it's like a selfish decision, right? Like yeah. you're choosing to be safe over the safety of pedestrians, cyclists, or people in smaller vehicles, right? So you're saying you're more important than all those people? Basically. I would I would put myself first before random people. Yes, which is why which they any say normal S- human SUV would do. drivers specifically are selfish and self centered. I'm a truck driver. Less, I don't have an SUV. Care well, it's truck and SUV drivers. Truck drivers and SUV drivers. That's um, what, yeah. what they which care I, less. I, I would, they I, care I'm less a, about I'm, people around them. I'm a, I'm a dirty SUV driver. Okay. I wouldn't um, call your car yeah. an SUV well, I'm, I'm like it that. Is yeah. I'm, it's I'm looks, it looks a, more like a van. Cool. So I'm a dirty SUV driver. I care about everybody else on the road less than I care about myself. It's a normal um, thing. Just straight up. Um, it may, it, I don't think it has anything to do with me owning an SUV, to be honest. I think it just has to do with, like, Comfort I am room. only ever me. I, and I'm going to care about me more than other people. I'm not saying that other people deserve to die or anything like that. I, I'm just going to put myself in 
you know, I'm going to make the best choices possible for me to be safe and for me to live. Um, yeah. I found I it know. strange, too, because in that video, that guy goes into complaining that what's the point if you're not using the truck for its reasoning of being made, which is delivering food or or Yeah, that's a huge. Packaging uh, and all I, that. I think that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, for example, I got my SUV because I needed a bigger car. Because I have a dog, two kids, and a wife. Like, at any time I'm rolling, there's four people, and I need space for my dog in the back. You know what I mean? Um, That's perfectly fine. But, but people who buy, like, the um, the F-150s just, just, just to have an F-150, not only are they, doing, are they doing massive damage to, like, the ozone and, like, our, our carbon emissions and shit like that, but uh, it's just not practical i I like that he rated uh suvs it would rate seventh in the world on emissions if we put all suvs together that's as a kind country, of a weak complaint too though it would it's it's a bit it, i don't think you can say that though. unless it's a if, diesel if, truck yeah i would agree with you but if it's all gas your car is also, gas the truck's gas like it's like no matter what we're all in the same sucky category of emissions in the, in the world and causing no yeah, yeah. it's the same bro. no what do you mean gas, the same a gas truck and a bro, gas a car is not the can't same get like 32 miles to the gallon or something my car i get 18 it's yeah. a gas guzzler i be and this shit takes a big ass gas i think like i'd be putting yeah. like 16 and 18 gallons. is pretty good for an suv bro that yeah i've there's suvs that do 12 yeah 14 these are gas guzzler they're not all the same tony infinity, i don't know what you're talking infinity about. has an uh the g one of the g series they're big suvs bro it does like eight miles to the gallon bro i couldn't believe people are actually buying cars that suck up this much gas i couldn't believe it i'm like holy so you think shit because they suck up more gas it causes more popular uh Pollution? Proven yeah, fact, yeah. statistical just, proven yeah. fact. Yeah. That's how that works. I think that um, no matter what, it's going to be used. Whether I pump up more or you pump up, if I pump up twice a week, you pump up once a week. No matter what, we're both still doing the same thing. So I think that argument for that is kind of even, and which it shouldn't why, really be used. Which Sorry. is why, if everybody drove Toyota Camrys, there would be less emissions. There would be less mm-hmm. pollution. This is just a fact. If everybody would know. just drive electric, there will be none. Which is There'll why. Be less. Yeah, argument. sure. That's, that's why I said to me. That's it's not dumb. a stupid argument. It's a fine argument. There are better choices. You're doing the thing right now where if the solution isn't perfect, it's yeah. unacceptable. That's what you're doing. Uh, they no, they throw garbage out on the street. So buying, I, I buying gotta, gasoline, saying, let's not. Buying gasoline and just putting it and lighting it on fire every day is worse than mm-hmm. SUVs, which are worse than Toyota Camrys, which are worse than like motorcycles, than motorcycles which are worse or, than or bicycles. electric vehicles. Yeah. Like, what there's a there's a hierarchy of things that are bad. I'm just saying let's not use it as an argument right now because it's it's all causing the same issue. One okay, it's one not, can what be. What do you mean? The, no, it's not the same. It's worse. It's a worse issue. But I'm it's just, still, it's I'm still just an confused issue, at how you're looking at this. Like I'm I want to disagree I'm with David, it. and you're making it so hard, Tony. <laughs> I don't know. This bro, is the bro, side you're putting me on. Yes. SUVs are side. not. A, they don't. They I'm don't saying cause they they, they cause problems, but I'm gas. saying let's let's not use the gasoline as 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 a a point a focal point why? of why not why use not? a truck. <laughs> Let's, they, cause they, they're both emissions? using fuel. They're both using uh, fuel. I understand one's using less than the other, but they're both using fuel. Let's use let's use a different. This so different this point. is the reason I'm going to tell you what you're doing. This is the reason why you can't trust the citizens at, at that level because they'll start making excuses like this guy. I'm not That's why you have excuse. to have what excuse state am I saying? Mandated. It has to be. There has to be laws put forward so that people like this can't use these. Uh, what excuse excuses? am I saying? What excuse you're saying, am I saying? You're not even making an excuse. You're I'm just not. saying, let's just let's ignore the rid. facts. Yeah, let's, let's get just rid of the facts. Let's ignore the facts. Word. I'm saying, let's just, <laughs> let's just not use that. Let's use other things that are more. Yeah, have why? A lot of okay. Okay. why uh, wouldn't we use that? I don't understand. Right, let's What's put a pause to this. Let's pin this on. Let's move to another thing. People yeah, in yeah. SUVs and trucks killing their children in their driveways because they can't see them. 
because it's okay, too tall. That, that part was so stupid, by the way. So dumb. For, right. First off, you're killing people in a driveway. You're an idiot. The, Fox. Straight off the bat. People make but, mistakes. But yeah, that's fine. They're idiots. Nah, They're, you you're operating a killing machine. You should be more careful. I, Fox. I, this is straight up. But the the thing they showed the kid. Oh, we could line up seven sitting kids, and it takes seven kids 17. until you see them. I'm like, why would they? Like, what do you? It's like who's gonna be sitting in the in the middle of the street in front of an SUV? Like it's just it's a very weird metric to sh- to illustrate. It's like just stand up. If the kid was For standing, sure. I don't know. It's just, it's just it's it's a very weird metric. And, a lot of kids are sitting w- on. I guess they would say sitting on their um you know the front of their house. They're sitting down playing with chalk. I guess they're trying to say uh, in these situations where your kids you know bent over but dude the the numbers are staggering brother 500 600 people died from fucking getting yeah that shit's wild um that's that's five six six hundred people too many if you ask me that's fucking wild bro i would say smaller i would say smaller cars are more dangerous than bigger cars overall they just they show they're faster they're shiftier they can move in a lot of things faster did you not those are the people that caused this accident i did i'm just telling you my opinion I think smaller cars are more dangerous than big trucks because, A, you guys can go in and out of traffic. You're much smaller, so you can fit in smaller areas. And to be honest, on 95, every accident involves a small car because they're swerving in and out of lanes trying to speed by the trucks, the vans, the SUVs. Why is it that why is it that other this is something that I never understood about drivers. Why do you look at someone else passing you doing their own thing and you're like, they're the problem. No, what? I'm not. Because, no, it's how you pass somebody. You fucking speeding, going past the speed limit and cutting other people off and going in causes accidents, causes people to swerve, causes people to hit the brakes. Then the person behind you, God forbid, didn't pay attention that one second, now runs into that, that person. Ain't no trucks, ain't no vans swerving in and out of lane like it's NASCAR 500. On what the if highway, they're doing bro? it on legal legal terms, not illegal, not speeding? What, what if they're just legal going? Terms? What if, what if they're just getting past everyone? That's fine going, at a normal yeah. speed, and yeah. that's fine. That 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 won't cause accidents. I'm just saying. I feel like people just don't like that either, personally, because I heard someone say, "Oh, you those those motorcycles, they always lane split." They're always lane splitting. That causes and it's like, problems too, though. You can I'm, do that on a motorcycle, bro. Is as long as you have enough space to pass, you can pass. And it's like just I just I find it very weird, especially in it's in the cycling community, it's in the car community. You pass someone and they feel some sort of way about it. It's weird. Like yeah, he's going faster than me. He just he whizzed by me, and it's just like weird how Lane everyone spinning, sees I don't find someone getting further than them, faster than them, and they're all automatically like oh, pissed at this person. It's weird. I, I don't. I think lane. I think lane splitting is bad. I think cars. You already have a hard time seeing a car right next to you that's in another lane. You have blind spots. Motorcycles passing by you even closer and faster. Or, or like I don't know. It, it just seems like. One one party here is gonna get really hurt, and it ain't gonna be the driver. And For then sure. you're doing something that's more dangerous. You're gonna increase the likelihood of you getting hurt. I I have a hard time seeing a motorcycle, a cyclist getting hit when they're like lane splitting and being like, "Oh, the car, it's the car's fault." Like I I just have a hard time doing that. Like personally, like, but this you know, guy that's would I say just that think hundred times a day. No, I, that's all I ever do is lane split. And why Why am I going to wait at the back of the line? You don't. What do you mean? What, what, it's because it's if safer. I can, if I can. No, it's not. I already tried to tell you this. It's way safer to get to the front of the pack as a cyclist than to sit in the back behind the truck where somebody can't see you. You want to be as visible as possible to everyone on the road. And you think now, cutting let in me, let me, between let me their blind a, spot is safe? Well, you let think me, you're going to be visible there? Yeah, it, it can be safe, though. Like... Just, just to, just to right. add a caveat, like I'm talking about people driving on the highway. Now you guys are talking about driving in the middle of a city where there's a red light and there's 40 cars completely stopped. I'm yeah. like, yeah, lane split all you want. Like as long as there's no open lanes, there's no avenue for a car to really move into that space. You're mostly gonna be safe. Yeah, there's still I- people that could try to initiate a lane change early, and that could be dangerous. 
but you're probably better off doing it near the curve. Like, I don't know. It, 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 lane splitting is just dangerous in general. Um, I don't know. Do it as safe as you can, but I, sure. I would say do it sparingly. And uh, don't blame the driver for you getting hit when you're lane splitting and the highway. That's just you. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm never on the highway lane splitting, so I don't. Well, I hope not. But I'm, I'm just talking motorcycles, yeah. like you know, lane splitting there. That's the problem because, like, trucks and vans, they have a they have pretty bad blind, blind spots. If you don't have the right mirrors, it's terrible. Yeah, that's the best thing about being on either a motorcycle or a bike. There's almost no blind spots. You just, all your vision is there. So I feel like I'm always paying more attention than anybody on the road. It feels like that sometimes. Yeah, for sure. I have you're, to predict, you're on yeah. a bike, you have more visibility than being in a car. Yeah. You don't need mirrors to look to your left and right. Like, mm -hmm. like I mean, they're there because you still have a blind spot. Like you, like you can't see over here behind yeah. you. Then that that's why motorcycles still have side view mirrors. But and also when you turn, you just now lose focus on what's in front of you to your right or the. I mean, you opposite. don't have to look to left and right can, to turn. No, I'm saying if you don't like, like on the bike, like if you don't. Like you like Dober when he rides, he, he doesn't have mirrors on his bike. So I'm saying he has to turn I have like to this check real before quick. I yeah. turn. Yeah. So you don't know but what's coming on this side of that split second. Like that's all it really takes. Also you not do, going 90 do, miles an yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course not. Of course not. It's about like, gauging. Like, yeah, I can have enough time to turn and look right now. I've never ran into the back of anything. God, God forbid. Have you ever you been hit me? by a car on a bike? No. No? no, I hit I hit a car that was making a right turn and just suddenly made a right turn and then like my pedal clipped into it and really? I fell off the bike. He's never he's never been hit by a car on a bike. He's hit a car on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he's saying. yeah, no, a car has never like smashed into me. No, thank God. Yeah, thank Force. God. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> um, but now, well, okay, going back to the SUV video, another point he makes. Where he was just like, oh, you want a fan? Like, basically to me, right? Now he's talking to me when he's saying, oh, you don't need an SUV to get kids into a car and stuff like that. People did it for uh, many, many years. It's called a station wagon. <laughs> and it's like, they don't even make these shits anymore. <laughs> like, so it's like, even like, all right, even first off, nobody wants to drive a station wagon. Period. This shit is lame as fuck. But... Assuming people wanted to drive a station wagon, they're just not re like commonly available in America. Like the SUV he, replaced he the also station said wagon, the minivan, because minivans yeah. are purposeful. They no, they absolutely, work. minivans are cool. I, I, I mean, my car is like an in between an SUV and yeah. a van, so it's like I, I'm cool with it. Like, that shit is a rolling couch. I that shit is, that couch shit is a wheels. rolling couch. Vans bro. are very comfortable, and if you yeah. have a huge family, a van might be the best thing for you. But like we're talking about minivans, not no van. Did you see? Oh, yeah, the, minivans. The, I'm sorry. Did you see uh, how big the suburban was, and then versus how much oh, space you get the tank, inside? Think of the tank. The tank comparison. Yo, this shit one. is as big as a tank, bro. That's an old <laughs> tank, bro. <laughs> from like from the 1800s, bro. It's a small <laughs> tank, bro. No get out of here. 18. It's a World War II tank. Get out of okay. here. I'm just saying how old that shit is. Like, it was a bro, fucking Sherman. You, right? why, he, That's why, wild. why did he? Why did he? Why didn't he just get a tank of today? That the tanks are way huger than that. Obviously, bro, the here. tanks are bigger. Yeah, he, that's why I'm saying I don't like how he's just saying, "Oh, look at this tank, bro." Ain't nobody driving that tank right now, bro. Get a real tank. Like, get out of here. You're trying to like have a point with this fake ass so, tank. So he was talking about the Escalade too, versus how much uh, space you have inside the the cabin, versus how much the car space the car actually takes. And when you look at station wagons, when you look at minivans, you could just, they're so much more purposeful for those type of things. Like SUVs really don't make sense. How much room they take up on the road, how big they are versus what you're getting inside the cabin. He talked I about will admit, people. I will admit that there are some vehicles, like for example, I don't know, Tony, you, if you're still driving it, but that you. Or, Bertha? Know, Expedition? You, talk about Bertha? Oh no, the Silverado. I don't know. I we, drive a Chevy twenty five hundred now. It's maybe a we truck. maybe we rented a Silverado one time. You and your brother did. Yep. Right, yo, too big, <laughs> way too big. They gave it us, I think, because we were trying to rent a car. They ran out of that car. They were like, "Here, take a Silverado." Way too big. That car feels like a killing machine. Like it feels like 
you can get into an accident easily because this thing is just so massive. Like, and when I say an accident, I don't mean like some kind of crazy crash or something, but it feels like, you know, maybe you might hit a, a little dog or something. Like you're not going to really be able to see this thing. And, and, and so I, I don't disagree that for some vehicles, it's very difficult to, to see your surroundings, especially how, depending on how big the thing is. Yeah. Um, in, in my truck, you sat on my truck twice. It's a big yeah, that truck, truck bro. that truck is way too big. You don't need that truck. Bro. I need that truck because of work. That's why. I, I told and I don't think you're filling that bed that bed in the back. No, it's not about uh, filling, it's about towing. I'm towing big equipment, you know, through cities and stuff like that. So I need something. They make plenty of trucks that are smaller that could tow. Just yeah, but that's the company so, truck so they, that I got. They had sure, that, yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not telling you. I'm I'm just saying I don't think you need a truck that big. You're trying to tell me you do. I don't think you do. Like, when I need a move, I've seen what you do at see. work. You're not your truck be clean. I know I keep you're not clean. putting mad shit in that bed. Your truck be pristine. I just so got the a, truck too though. It's only five thousand. Yeah, no, but you could it. tell you could it's yo, only, you see them construction dudes, those trucks be crazy, disgusting. You know they're hauling so they're putting so much equipment in and out, in and out, in and out. Those like landscaping companies they use those flatbeds like yeah they need a big truck but like yo ass uh, yeah it's the truck they gave you i'm not saying like you're doing a bad thing all i said was you don't need a truck that big you're trying to tell me you do it's like come on don't lie to me i have been in that car know, i sit in there my big ass i'd be feeling like i have that much space on my surroundings i'm like i don't need all this space nobody needs all this space don't need that the chick space? in the fat shaming so, video don't the need Segura, space? she needs that space <laughs> So, so uh, the way that they compared the towing was that Europeans also they travel a lot and they haul a lot of stuff. They usually haul like little town trailers behind them, and literally one of them used a smart car, the smallest fucking car that shit has like fifty horsepower <laughs> to haul something. So they were saying like. If if these people are hauling with these small cars, is the, to say that you need something that big just to haul stuff? They're like, I'm sorry. If I want that same car to go tow up, going up a mountain or up a steep hill or anything like that. Matter of fact, I want that little car. How many to mountains tow a are boat, you driving up, Tony? To tow a boat. <laughs> I, I, I want to. I want to disagree with David. Why are you Florida making such mountains. a bad point? Listen, the I want the mountains. mountains. I want that. I want that. Or ride in the dirt, anything like that. I want that little car to get a jet ski, two jet skis, they even, and go down a boat ramp and tell me that it's going to be able to pick them shits up when it goes up the boat ramp. You know what's going to happen? Because it even happens to trust because people don't know how to do it. You're going to go right into that water, my boy. Right into that water. You're going to go right into that water. Why, why jet, jet skis don't even weigh that much in compare, Like Towing it out of the water, though? You should just say, try like, it. You, should, you should just say, you should, you should just say, like, there are trucks that, like, for example, the thing that uh, Doe is saying, the, this, like, trailer thing, them shits be mostly empty. They don't weigh that much. Some of these work trucks, they be hauling tons and tons and tons of stuff. Two, We're talking tons. really heavy shit. Like, like, these landscaping companies, they be having these multi-ton, crazy, big-ass, like, 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 things the, or a trailer like, full of, like, PVC, pi like, mad different equipment, like. Facts. Granted, like you this, need sometimes you need large vehicles, but I think for the average person, they don't need vehicles. Like, some of the equipment I told is like person. some some of the equipment I told is four to five tons. Ain't no purist or purist Prius or freaking smart car doing that though. There's no just the way the long no, no, drop right. the dang car so low. That's why my truck's so high because of the amount of stuff that you got to put on it. It'll drop it down significantly. Mm. The Dodge says, Ram truck I had before. Um, if you go to Europe, there are trucks just as big, lower to the ground, and they do all the same work. There's a standard in Europe that you can't have trucks that high off the ground because they kill people when they get into accidents with them. So here, we don't have that law. Because maybe the majority over there can't afford a truck, so they all they get is these little sure, shitty cars. Sure, nobody in Europe can afford it. Yeah, you're making really bad arguments. I'm just saying, what's you're, you're coming mm. up with these stupid, ridiculous things saying like, oh. You're saying the government made a law? About the height of a car because people can't afford trucks. That's literally your argument. Who, me or him? You. I didn't say that law. I didn't put no law into it. He did. No, Doe said that in Europe, 
they have height requirements on cars. They cars need to be below a certain height. So that way they could see more of the road and be less fatal. And your response was maybe that's in place because those people can't afford the price of a truck. No, maybe that's in place because the majority of people out there only have cars. And no, then dude, I added on top the of that. world works and then, over there? You think there's no construction jobs? You think they're fucking as I think Silverados the only people, in, fucking, I think in the, the middle o- of fucking Europe and the, the Middle East? I think the average people that over there don't own a truck because A, A, they can't afford it, or B, they don't think they need it. But the vast majority over there have small cars. The only ones who's going to have the truck are the workers. Here, normal people have trucks and working people have trucks. So it's very the different normal, to try we're to... We're talking about this video is aimed towards the normal people who have trucks that don't need trucks. They just have a truck just to have it. Those are the people that this is aimed towards. We're not talking about the people who need I, to have trucks and work trucks. Those people are completely justified for having those and trucks. And who we're the fuck about cares, though? Regular, the the day, normal people I, having trucks and SUVs. And who cares? If you can afford it, go get a fucking truck. The Well, that's the issue is that you have people like you. Like yeah, people like me who can afford to have a truck and get a truck, sure. Like, yes. I don't drive reckless in a truck to kill somebody. I don't. I don't do that. It, like, people getting accidents is because of the dumbasses who can't drive. you used to trick me that you were going to crash into the parked cars? That was a dumb long time ago of me. If you want to hold me to that standard, then sure, I can hold you to the same standard in everything in life that you do, though. But that's that you, was the you younger me. It. Yes, I did that because you would sit there. Doing whatever the hell you was doing, I would scare you, you and, jerk, to ter- and jerk the, me. and jerk you in the car like that. All like, right. like, but um, that's an old me. That's that you can't hold me to that. Yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, you I'm guys s- are on a, a weird, a weird line of this conversation. <laughs> um, the the fact of the matter is, just because you might be safer, Tony, doesn't mean that everybody is safer. Yeah, or the people like around me are not safer. Everybody drives safely. If if you give everybody a truck. There's just going to be more disgusting accidents. There's just, you got more, you got these vehicles moving fast that when they crash, they're going to crash way harder than a car crashes. And they're going to be doing a lot more damage. Um, And maybe you drive safe, but I mean, this is, we're talking about, what's up? I don't think people, I think the people who drive unsafe are the people who are in smaller and quicker cars than people who are in bigger trucks because you can't drive fast in a big truck and you can't you can't lanes you can't lane swerve or fish i go i go 100 miles an hour in my suv all the time that's ridiculous that's unsafe Uh, yeah it may may not be safe i think if you're on the highway you could drive fast safely but i could go plenty fast i've seen the most reckless car on the highway that i ever seen is a pickup truck Pickup These pickup trucks. truck drivers Same. be going crazy on the highway. I would say a Mustang. <laughs> but yeah. Well, sure, yeah. When you get to like the sports cars, they'd be they'd be a little beast. But the trucks even look more ridiculous because they be going mad fast and they be swerving. And you're like, you're too big to be pulling those maneuvers and off. Like, those are dumb you drivers, hit somebody, yeah. you're gonna kill somebody. Like, yeah, those um, are dumb drivers for sure. I agree with you on that. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying there are dumb drivers. If you give dumb drivers trucks, they'll be more dangerous. I, that's why I mean I'm in the camp of just eliminating all these big ass cars, and just having everybody go out of like an electric, regular one size car, with, like you know what I mean, and just leave it like that. I don't think I don't think there there shouldn't be choice. I think you should be able to have a choice, but I think if you want a SUV or you gotta a, have a reason to, or you have to have some sort of reason. Yeah, other you than wanting are, it. Yeah, you're going to be a limousine service or something like that. Or you have a company where you need to buy this. Otherwise, I don't think you should be able. I mean, you should be able to do what you want. But I think there should be some sort of regulation toward it I to think, make it safer. Right. I think the the government needs to impose certain restrictions. Like one of the things they talked about is like they, they do have SUV like vehicles in Europe and stuff like that. But because of the regulations, the way they're built is a little different. They're uglier, but they don't have like that big box front. They have more of like a curved front. So you could actually see more of the road out of your windshield. Like, yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. In my car, there's an amount I can't see because of just the how much of the like the oh, my God. 
Now, I don't know why trunk is the only word that's in my head, but the, ba- hood. the front of the hood, the of, hood the of the car, yeah. how big the hood is and how it's designed. There's an amount of road and there's an amount I can't see. And if it was designed differently, I'd be able to see more. No matter how high I sit, there's just an amount you can't see. And if it fell away, like some of those ugly ass European cars or like some of them ugly ass Japanese cars, you would be able to see more of it. And yeah. Yeah, the American government probably should make some restrictions to force car companies to build the the physical car differently. But. Yeah, I mean you can you can put regulations on anything, but I don't think I don't know I, I, to say that. Oh, you can't buy trucks unless you have unless you're using it for a business or this and that. Because like, how many times you move in Putro and you wish you had a truck at that time so you can pack? Yeah, I'm not with Doy on that. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't put that on. Hell no. I'm saying they should build the trucks differently to make them safer and things like that. But like, if it's like, I don't think, yeah, I don't know. There's certainly things that you could restrict the population from, but I, I don't, I don't think you should be like um, telling people, like forcing people they can't buy a, a particular type of vehicle. Like that's, you know, close to like a normal vehicle. I don't know. That just seems OD. And then our requirements change all the time. What well, I like, I have four kids now boom i got an suv they all died in a hang gliding accident the government's gonna come and take my suv away like oh you don't got kids no more you know i don't know that seems to be i do anyways i got a hard stop so i gotta i gotta be out soon yeah so um yeah if you stuck with us through this entirety of this episode and and um like to see more hit the subscribe button share like follow we're on all social media platforms we have a discord channel open Come in, chime, tell me I'm bugging, tell Doe that he's really bugging. Let us know. Um, as always, go one up yourself. Go Celtics. Can't forget about that.